You're watching 11 Alive Morning News. 11 minutes of nonstop news starts now. Thanks for staying with the 11 Alive Morning team on your Friday, October 13th. It is 647. For the next 11 minutes, we'll have nonstop coverage of everything you need to know to plan your day. Right now, there is a massive search for a man police say is armed and dangerous. It's happening in Bartow County. Police say the man shot a canine officer. Plus, in efforts to fight evictions in Atlanta, details on how a nonprofit says it will help. Clouds in place and the rain not far behind. We'll have scattered or isolated showers off and on through the day. Some changes coming this weekend. We'll talk more about that in the full forecast coming up. The massive search continues in Bartow County right now for a suspect. Police say is extremely armed and dangerous. Ariana Manise following the latest developments. Ariana, they've been looking all night. Yeah, this search has been going on for hours now. Multiple agencies are assisting, searching a wooded area, multiple acres for a suspect. They say shot a canine officer. Now we're learning that that canine officer was shot as a canine and, de and a deputy was, uh, was chasing after this suspect. The canine bit the suspect, and that's when the suspect ran off. Now the silver car that you see in the video crashed at a gas station on US 411 at I-75, and a source is telling 11 Alive, that the situation initially started in Floyd County around 4.30 p.m. on Thursday, and they tell us that the suspect is accused of beating a woman, and he also faces a kidnapping charge. Now the K-9 officer is expected to be okay. Bartow County authorities are not saying much as they continue to search for this individual. As soon as we get any information from police, we'll be sure to bring you the latest. Back to you. Thank you, Ariana. Another developing story just into the newsroom. We are learning about a shooting involving Woodstock police. It happened just before midnight. Police say officers tried to pull over a driver for several traffic offenses. They say the driver took off. Officers later performed a maneuver causing that driver to crash near Highway 92 and Old Mountain Park Road in Cobb County. As they were arresting him, an officer shot the driver who was taken to the hospital in critical condition. The GBI is now taking over this investigation. A court hearing is scheduled for this morning for the murder case against a former DeKalb County daycare operator. Amanda Hickey is charged in the death of a baby boy who, according to investigators, was put down for a nap on his stomach against the medical recommendation for his age. Video showed the child was left unsupervised for more than two hours before he was found. A DeKalb County grand jury returned a 20 count indictment last year on second degree murder cruelty to children and other charges. Her daycare was shut down during the investigation. They also found alleged abuse involving six other kids at the daycare. No word on if charges were filed as a result of those allegations. This morning, bus drivers in Clayton County are asking Governor Brian Kemp for help. They have to pay back unemployment benefits they say were legally collected during the pandemic. I just can't afford it. How much are they asking you to pay back total and then monthly? 35000 and $2,070 a month. $35,000. Some drivers and their families held a protest outside the governor's mansion. Many were out of work when schools went virtual. The drivers say they were directed to apply for unemployment benefits and were approved. Later, they were told to give that money back to the state. We asked Clayton County Schools about it. They say they can't comment because it's a personnel matter. We are waiting to hear back from the state's Department of Labor. All right, 123 days until pitchers and catchers report to spring training. All the Braves and their fans can do now is look forward to next year. They lost their win or go home game four in Philly last night. Feels familiar, doesn't it? A similar end to last postseason. Disappointing, but thanks to the Braves for a fun and record-breaking 104 win season. That was a look at your Friday morning headlines. Somebody was excited about that story there. Hi, Chesley. Oh, me. <laughs> oh, that Phillies fan? <laughs> that was nothing, wasn't it? That was just nothing. All right, we're looking at uh, just a few isolated showers overhead. That's the way it's going to be off and on as we head through the rest of the afternoon. Isolated at best. Maybe some areas of drizzle as well. Temperatures in the 50s for the most part. Got some 60s sprinkled in here. 59 degrees down toward McDonough. You got 61 up toward Conyers. 60 in Noonan and over toward Peachtree City. You also got it in Fayetteville and Chattahoochee Hills in South Fulton County. 60 in Hiram. 59 degrees in Powder Springs. 59 in Mapleton. Temperatures just about the same just about everywhere you look. Uh, the warm spot would be Atlanta. Looking at 63 degrees right now. Tucker, you're at 60 starting off this morning. Carry the umbrella with you. Maybe take the jacket along as well because it's going to be one of those days, right? On the cool side, 65 degrees for a high temperature. A bit breezy out there as well. And will you be in an area where... 
We'll have some showers around just in case you are. You have your umbrella to put up so your hair doesn't get wet, right? Upstream, not much going on. We're watching a front back off to the west of us. That's going to come through and really cool us down as we head into the latter half of the weekend into next week. For now, high pressure to the north, area of low pressure to the south. you got that uh, easterly wind coming in. Uh, 10 to 15 miles per hour. Gusts could be a little bit higher than that at times. Rain, we need it, folks. It's only a 40% chance for this afternoon, so you're not talking about much. Especially, certainly not as widespread as we saw it just yesterday. Drought monitor came out yesterday, and you can see where we're still abnormally dry in a lot of spots. Even a severe drought area now entering into our far northwestern counties, so we still need the rainfall. Again, you're not going to see much of it today. It'll be isolated at best off and on. We'll be with us at least to about 10 or 11 o'clock tonight. Tomorrow we start off with the clouds, but should be out of the way just in time for us to check out the solar eclipse that will be taking place. Now the eclipse uh, areas will be over toward the uh, west of us where you see 100% of that. We'll be on the partial side of it. A good 50 to 60 percent of the uh, sunlight blocked by the moon tomorrow. What time will that take place? Well, at 11:43 is what a.m. is when it will start. It will peak at 1:12, and then should be out of the way by the time we get toward 2:45. So uh, the clouds should be out of the way enough for us to see that. Make sure you wear your protective eyewear if you're going to be looking. This is Jerry Carnes. The pandemic era eviction moratorium is over, and thousands of people in Atlanta are facing the possibility of losing their homes. Help from the city of Atlanta could be available as early as next week. The city has proposed donating $2 million to the nonprofit Star C. If okayed by the city council in a vote next Monday, Star C would begin offering financial assistance to low income families facing eviction. The plan is to offer $6,000 to families that qualify. The program will target renters over the age of 65 and young renters between 18 and 25. It would also offer assistance to single parent families with children enrolled in the Atlanta public school system. The city has proposed donating to other nonprofit to assist with helping families locate affordable housing. The city is also working on building or preserving 20,000 affordable housing units throughout Atlanta. Thanks, Jerry. Early voting starts next week in Metro Atlanta. In DeKalb County, voters will decide whether to renew a one cent sales tax. It's especially important to funding county services and projects. And in order for it to continue uninterrupted, it had to be placed on the ballot this November. Uh, so that that would be a continuation if it passes. It's called the Special Local Option Sales Tax, and it's predicted that it could go through. Four years ago, it passed easily during an off election year, but history shows voter turnout this election will be small, a fraction of the turnout for a presidential or gubernatorial election. This weekend, the biggest pride parade in the southeast will take over Midtown. The Atlanta Pride Parade is expected to draw more than 100,000 people. So if you plan to go, give yourself plenty of time to park. It starts at noon on Sunday. This morning, students, teachers and parents are getting ready for a big celebration parade at one Fulton County School. Good morning and congratulations to the S.L. Lewis Elementary School Eagles. The parade through the school will celebrate 50 years of educating scholars in College Park. A lot of great memories inside the old building, but at the end of the year, it'll be torn down for a new school to be built. All right, we are looking at, uh, well, cloudy skies today. We'll get the sunshine back in here by tomorrow. Call it partly sunny skies. Temperatures in the 70s uh, for tomorrow, looking at 77 degrees, but then a front comes through and really will cool us down for Sunday. Partly sunny skies once again, 64 for the high. And look at the start of the work week. Eights on the wisometer, 62 for the high on Monday, 63 degrees by Tuesday. Both days will be starting off in the 40s. In fact, we'll do it on Wednesday, only getting up to 67 then back to the 70s by Thursday of next week. Well, a rare phenomenon will happen in the sky over us that we won't see again for another 15 years. This weekend, yep, the moon will block the sun, giving us an eclipse in the area. Some people will see a ring of fire. We talked to an astrophysicist from NASA this morning to tell us why this is so special. It's such an exciting time because these eclipses don't happen that often from, you know, that we can see here in the U.S. And so what we're seeing is the moon blocking out um, part of the sun. And so you're going to see what looks like a moon taking a bite out of the sun, which is really uh, just a fun experience to view. Cloud should be out of way just in time for us to see this. It'll start to take place around 1143. It'll peak at 115 or 112 and then end by 245. Pretty so get a look cool. at it, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> with your special viewing glasses. Uh, yes. yes. Protect your eyes. <laughs> Why does it make me think of the cookie monster when I see that moon? Looks like a bite out of it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, have a great weekend, everybody.